guys, Pops Up Vlogs here. Today we are going to be looking at a man who thinks he's a tiger. Let's go. I've never been much of a cat person. That is until I learned about 45 year old Dennis Avner of San Diego, California. Now he is totally obsessed with transforming himself into a tiger. Dennis, Dennis, Dennis. We should be happy with a human, like, what's so good about a tiger? Like, I like tigers, they're cute, they're fluffy, but, um, something tells me that you're not going to be cute and fluffy. And you have to admire his dedication and his fluffy orange tail. My given name is Stalking Cat. Well, no, it's not. Is it Dennis? As in, sneak up. I can walk with very little or no noise. Uh, however, it takes quite a while. Probably have seen things like this on television or in magazines, uh, like the National Geographic. Dennis has lived in the back of Dave Daly's hardware store for the past six years. Honestly, I'm not surprised. Do you remember the first time I met you? I, uh, you walked in the, the front door up there, and uh, you startled me a little bit. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. And I know you've broken every place since I've been here. No, I haven't. <laughs> That's what I want to catch. Somebody walking through that back room at 3 o'clock in the morning. The cat walks out and goes, ah! <laughs> I could sneak up on anyone. It's just one of those cat things. Dennis, you're not a cat. Dennis began turning himself into a tiger 20 years ago. So far, undergoing 10 extreme body modification surgeries, which has cost him nearly $200,000. It's literally been everything I could afford. Hmm, what can I spend this money with? I could maybe buy a house, buy a new car, buy some Pop-Tarts. Maybe I could invest it. Wait, no. I want to turn myself into a tiger. Since I started. While I was still in the Navy, I started the tattooing. We started off with the uh, eyebrow implants and the, uh, the bridge implant here, the uh, reshaping of my ears to give them a more cat-like appearance, cleft my lip, relocated my septum to change the uh, profile of my nose, had silicone injected in Mexico in my upper lip and my cheeks and my chin, did the piercings for the whiskers, did the uh, eyebrow implants for the whiskers up there. I'm going to eventually be putting uh, transdermal implants uh, somewhere around here so I can mount uh, conventional type tiger ears. I haven't decided exactly how we're going to mount them yet. You know somebody who can do it? Dennis never considered himself human. In Dennis's eyes, his transformation is only a formality. Everything I see and do, I relate to as a cat. I'm told I purr in my sleep. No, you don't. Dennis, you're a human. Humans don't purr. Black and orange tray cat sitting on a fence. My tail in the air. And like most cats, he's of course a carnivore. My diet is almost exclusively meat. The problem with that is going to a restaurant and getting it rare enough. Most restaurants have a problem with bringing out raw meat. Well, yeah, Dennis, it's not as if raw meat gives you salmonella or anything. Well, let's put it this way if the meat jumped on the grill and you slapped it in the butt, it goes scurrying off, that's it. And how would you like it done? As rare as I can get it. Well, I'm thinking that maybe it's a good thing he didn't come in dressed as a pig, because then he'd be running right through that buffet like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Catman will stop at nothing to make his outer tiger match his inner tiger. Currently, he's researching surgery that will allow him to walk on all fours. I'll be happy with uh, where I'm at and where things are going when I've reached the point to look like that. That's up to him. In other words, I'd still accept him. I'd probably be scratching behind the ears then. <laughs> I probably would like cat in my house, but I would definitely have to get a bigger litter box. How would you react if you came home and this man looking like Dennis 
was squatting in your cat's litter box. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Don't you just want to pour him a warm saucer of milk and rub his belly? Hit me. Or is it just me? I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I spend like upwards of two thousand dollars, pounds, whatever, euros, wherever you're from? Uh, turning myself into my spirit animal, a house fly. <laughs>